Good afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over here at Cable Channel 3. And you can get us on the World Wide Web at sandylandcenter.org. Or any morning you come and visit us for a live time with good coffee and good fellowship. And today is Monday the 30th of October. And would you believe it, it is the last day in September. The month has really gone by very quickly. And even the weather is telling us that, because it's beginning to get quite cool. The mornings are cool. But over the greater Midwest right now, there's a high pressure system that is that has been developing. And with it comes some drier conditions across the majority of the region. And we ha still have some gusting winds, sometimes um, gusting as much as 35 miles an hour and it will bring in that warm temperatures and we will see temperatures which are maybe 5 to 15 degrees warmer than average and um, we could see some highs in the 80s. But right now in our square it is really sunny and bright uh, with the winds gusting somewhat maybe up to 23 miles per hour and the afternoon temperatures it's some very pleasant 70 71 degrees and we can expect that same pattern for the next six hours it should remain sunny and with the temperatures rising to the high for today at 86 with the relative humidity about 45 46 percent very pleasant and the winds coming in from the south at about 15 miles per hour tonight the temperatures should fall back into the low 50s to 53 and the winds a little bit less, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And remember to look up at the nighttime skies. It's absolutely beautiful as the stars are really beautiful and shining and the moon is sort of waning, in, uh, they say in the waning crescent of the moon. Beautiful cancer skies. Tuesday and Wednesday, we should see a very sort of twin-like pattern. Both days, the pattern seems to be the same sunny during the daytime, sunny skies, the highs right at the high 80s, 86, no rain in the forecast right now, and the lows between 55 and 60, with the um, winds uh, coming in from the south 13 to 15 miles per hour. Both days pretty much the same. In our community, we have some birthdays. We want to wish Norma Bright a birthday today. Happy birthday, Norma. Uh, also, Cage Daly, happy birthday, Cage. Grant, Grant Fisher, happy birthday, Grant. And Alan Keeley and Renee Doggett, happy birthday to all of you. And do wish these people happy birthdays as you see them around the town. Tomorrow, it, it's Gordon Hedrick's birthday. If you probably won't see Gordon, but give him a call and wish him a happy birthday. And it's also Terry Welch's birthday. Happy birthday to both of you. And you know, um, the third week in September has been designated the Farm and Health Safety Week. And that just went by. And of course, during the fall, um, it is the busiest time of the year for agriculture and with all the activities that goes on the farm, with the um, bringing in the farm crops, moving animals around. And as you can imagine, it is the time when we get the most um, accidents in the farm. So we just want to remind you that this year, the theme is to work is working together for safety on the farm and it's good for all of us to remember that and already there have been some reports of accident, farm accidents in our community so please um, remember all the safety techniques uh, for tr people who are driving uh, and working on the farm it is Farm Safety Week, and it is working together for farm safety. And so let's be be mindful of that um, over this harvesting season. And we want you to mark your calendars. Um, September the 7th 
at the senior center. It's a monthly potluck supper, and um, they always ask you to bring a covered dish, and there should be an interesting program following the meal. And the meals and the company is always quite delightful. So September the 7th, Monday, October the 7th, it's our as a senior center, it's the potluck right at 6 o'clock. And then on Thursday, October the 10th, there's a trip to Hutchison. And it will be lunch at the Pizza Ranch. And everybody tells me the Pizza Ranch really does a good buffet of salad and pizzas and fried chicken and fixings. And the dessert bar and the ice cream, if you're a sweet lover, absolutely delightful. So that should be fun. And then they will be shopping at the Smith's Market and the new Dillon's Market Square. That is something to see. So do call over at the Senior Center and make your reservations as the van will be leaving there at 9 o'clock that morning and should return to St. John at 4 p.m. And the cost is $20. Then also mark your calendars for pizza and movie on the 26th. And on the 11th, though, the Red Cross is having a blood drive. And this should be at the Stafford High School from 11 until 3 o'clock. And the Red Cross wants to remind us that this month, the emphasis is on liver, liver transplant. And as you can imagine, because the liver is the organ that delivers most of the blood and purifies the blood, it takes a lot of blood when someone has a liver transplant. And they say one patient even had up to 75 pints of blood and plasma and all that goes with that. The point is though, the Red Cross wants to remind us to come and give blood because there's a great need for blood. So if you're able, please call the Red Cross at 1-800-RED-CROSS uh, for more information. And if you can, do donate blood. It's so very important and it's life-saving. We have some new menus for you today. Um, over at the Maxville Center, Today um, is they're serving up a pot roast with gravy, mashed potatoes, and cauliflower, and blueberry dessert. That sounds good. And tomorrow they should be serving a beef stroganoff with noodles, carrots, and bread, and mandarin oranges. So do call over at the center if you wish them to deliver meals. There's always somebody here that can deliver the meal for you, or better yet, go and enjoy the meal over at the center. And they also will be having a covered dish on um, tonight uh, at the Maxwell Center. And over at the Sunflower Center, tonight should it be Hungarian pork chop, seasoned noodles, buttered chuck wagon corn, a fresh vegetable salad, a jellied fruit cup, and you know, tea and coffee and other salads. And tomorrow they should be serving a peppered steak, steamed rice, seasoned winter vegetable mix, a green salad, and a lemon bar with milk, coffee, and bread. And then on Wednesday it should be Salisbury steak steamed broccoli, sliced tomatoes, green pepper salad, and cream pudding. Very enticing menus, all at your service. So do call if you want to be included in that. And we have a thought for you today. And our thought for the day is we cannot discover new oceans unless we have the courage to lose sight of the shore. We cannot discover new oceans, new places, unless we have the courage to lose sight of the shore. And remember too, 
One of the greatest pleasures in life is doing what people tell you you cannot do.